Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Starmane. And I have the, the 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 task at hand of trying to make all of these desperate, desperate, disparate, disparate parts fit together in some sort of um, aesthetically pleasing manner. Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to... Oh, oh, hold on. Before I get all click-happy, I don't have symmetry turned on. Whatever that was, redo that. All right, so we're going to work on this side then. Uh, let's undo and let's take it by five. Oh, fire hit that set to 24. Okay, and you look good. You look good. All right. Everybody looks good. And we are going to, we're going to saran wrap some of these as, as, uh, I guess you could call it. Saran wrapping is usually not a the best practice. It's just uh, putting a skin right up against the um, right up against the uh, systems. So you're well, you're basically saran wrapping or plastic wrapping your spaceship. And lots of the time, it is not a great look. But you can use it as a technique to get an interesting shape. So we're going to saran wrap this, but we're not going to leave it saran wrapped. We're going to come back and make it more interesting. All right, we're going to try to come back and make it more interesting. For example, we're going to come here and go do 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 do. And up this way and go do 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 and come over to this one and go do 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 and where was his brother oh he didn't have a brother okay that's sad he didn't even have a brother he has a brother he goes do all right no i want to saran wrap this but i want that to be like a half block this lines up with the, the main gun I want it to be more different and let's get rid of these guys here why? because they line up with the bottom of this uh, little guy here and that will cause these to fit flushly alright so what can you do about saran wrapping? Well, you can um, wedge it, and it doesn't have to be a full saran wrap. Let's see. Uh, don't saran wrap too tightly is something you could do. Okay, let's uh, pull you this way. There we go. And how about one of these? We're going to look at some of it today. Right. No, no, no. I wanted you to be captives. There we go. Make it interesting. Try to get this, uh, this bridge area done. See, now we have this corner that juts out into another corner, except it's in the back, so no one's ever going to see this. Which is, which is okay. And we're going to bring you up a... Oh, hold on. Where'd you go? Like that. So, and we're going to zip over to this side and slap that there. Awesome. And we're just going to stick a wedge. Come on, wedge. Until he's... I will never not make that joke. All right. So I want this sort of to look like it's a, a pod sticking out of the side. Of course, it should look like that because it is more or less a pod sticking out of the side. No, I don't have my I'm turn my flashlight on. Yeah. And do I want to? Oh, well, let's do it. Come on, don't just hit buttons all random like. Let's have that there. Ooh. Okay. And for you, oh, I can't do that. Um, you know what? Let's grab a. It's under admin a G twelve. 
or G11. Why do I keep thinking it's a G12? Uh, let's hop into the... Let's go hit R to get out of the ship. F1, F8. This is my Greebly uh, collection. What's something that's going to look good on that front? Something rounded. I also probably should have uh, took note on how... How big it was. Hmm. Grab this cone here. It's not very complicated, no, but it's complicated enough it's going to be annoying to build over and over again. R, F1, F8. Let's paste and let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. There, we got a little interesting shape. In fact, if we wanted, we could sling that round. The one right there. One thing you can do for saran wrapping is uh, greeblies. All right now, this this like neck piece, I want I want something special with it. So we're gonna set that up then. Uh, how wide is that? That is not tall. Five, three. Every five, it's going to go up one. Until it hits this portion there. All right. And then we're going to come and do like this. And let's see. Hmm, this is going to be a pain in the backside. Wrong way. I want it to come in. That is going to jet out. In, in. So start with the hepta. There you go. Hepta that up, and then tetra it up. All right. Hepta and tetra. And we're just gonna do this till it meets. So fun and exciting. All right, there we go. And let's do wedges across. Oh, oh, oh too much, too much. There you go. Wheel, wheel it back in there, JW. Wheel it, reel it back in there. And now I have... An outline for, for this. So now I can have this segment here. Do something cool, and since I have a little room here, we can, I don't know, do something like this. Just, just make an interesting shape. There we go, and then... This is just going to be a regular old ledge under this piece here. And since it's under this piece here, not a lot of people are going to go looking in around in here unless they're specifically looking for something to... to um, oops, about that. Unless they're like specifically looking for weak points in your ship. Nobody's going to be crawling around back there. And from over here, that looks kind of kind of neat. So from here, what are we? How are we gonna do this? Well, we are going to wedge that out, like so. Wedge it up, wedge it up, good. And here we just wanna cap that off. Hmm. I just want that to be like straight this way. That's creating a ledge, a nice ledge. Without using color, I'm creating high and low dark spots and all that. A little more noticeable without my flashlight doing all that. And then we can come in here and then try this. Yeah, but you have lots of empty space. Yeah, well, you kind of want the empty space because... 
missiles, splash damage from missiles does not uh, jump through empty space. Acid damage, I think is what they actually call it in game. There we go, so we got this kind of nifty, looks like an alien. Uh, kind of this, not like a xenomorph. Well, I guess it could. Yeah, now it has some teeth. Now it's a really a, like a warthog. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. So, um, what was I saying? Oh, oh, you want space sometimes for, um, for good reasons. Mostly because splat am acid damage does not travel through empty space. So if you have an empty space in your spaceship, that can be used to protect yourself from missiles. So it'll hit an air gap and won't... For example, this right here. Oops, stop that. If somewhere were to hit me right here with a missile, it would chew through this armor. And, well, unless the explosion radius went this far, uh, the acid damage wouldn't jump from this block over here. The, the missile blast radius might, but the acid damage from the after effect would only hit the blocks it touched, so it would creep up this way and eat through, won't jump straight over. At least that's the way I understand it and the way I've observed it work. Is it necessarily 100% right? No. Nothing I ever say on this channel is ever necessarily 100% right, unless it is. Uh, but that's life. Sometimes you just kind of get things wrong. One, two, three. Come down one, two, three. Come down one, two, three. Come down one, two. Awesome. Actually, that'll allow me to continue this pattern all the way to here. Okay. Cool. I needed something neat to go here. Um, well, I'm right now just because I my main goal here is is just getting the stuff down. I'm just gonna put a box around all this. I'm not to the let's make it pretty stage yet. I know I've done a little work prep work for that, but we ain't there. And we're gonna do like this on these guys, yeah. Can't really do it on that one because of those, but you get the idea. That's what pretty tall. I do have symmetry on. Yeah, I do have symmetry on. Always check every so often, make sure you have symmetry on. So if it's should be on or if it should be off, you you'll you'll know and be good. Those can't go like that because come on. No 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 we can do we can do something like this. Okay. I gotcha. Uh take that down. What the threes? Hmm. And what do you say we ooh, not you. We continue this pattern. Down this side reactor. Oh, I like that. Even here. And then, then across the bottom. Okay. Then let's grab some of these wedges here and wedge it up. There we 
go and then let's wedge it this way. Yay! Wedges! Now, I plan... Because you've seen me do this a bazillion times. So I think... Uh, let's get some black standard. I think... I'm not going to make you sit through me. Well, I guess I don't make you do anything. But I'm not going to sit here and record me putting armor on this whole thing. I will come back once these large chunks are done. And we will uh, we'll do some greebling together. That's always fun. I like greebling. We'll go get our pallet. Probably get rid of that corvette that's in between them. And we'll do some greebling together. Because that's, that's more fun than you just watching me. Put these blocks down. Yeah. I, all right, I'm going to finish this section since we already started it. Yes, I do now realize that I could have made this just really long. It's three like this. Three more. And then rotated it so it was that way. Then done the same thing down here. Yes, I understand I could have done that. Oh, look what happened. Oh, you're sideways. What's that? Yeah, that's the one I'm... All right. Cool. So we're going to knock those out and add some more spray standard. There we go. Awesome. And we're going to do like this. Apparently there was another one of these hiding around. Okay. So now it's this like little tank thing on the side. I don't know. It gives a little different texture. So I'm going to go ahead and finish saran wrapping, if you will, the rest of my spaceship. And we will come back to do some more detail work. So I have been JW608. This has been Star Made. Now dig you cats. Later.